Well, hello, and welcome to the Irish Museum of Modern Art here, out at Kilmainham. Uh, the best way to get to here, if you're staying in the city centre, is to take the Lewis Light Rail out as far as Houston train station, and it's only a five minute walk from Houston train station to here. So um, let's go in and have a look around um, the uh, Museum of Modern Art and see what we think of it, right? wearing a condom. It's called, down at the bottom it says, AIDS pushed me. It pushed all of us into the realization of our own mortality. Now, what do you think of that? Now, I like that. That's, I think that's very, very good, very good. So this, ex this exhibit here is saying here, it's addressing the relationship um, between housing sexuality and colonial, and colonial history. Just a house, derelict house in the country. Now, here's the thing. Would you call that their art? It's just a picture of a block wall and four of the blocks are painted. Look, a red, a kind of red, is that a pink and a purple? A few weeds in the bottom, and that's art. Wow. Okay. say that that there was shit right because all I seen was a big canvas of red but I changed my mind because look at this you go in closer and there's an image of a girl or a woman standing in the middle of the picture with a hair up in the air now you might think, you might think that this is mad but because that image of the girl is in the middle of that red canvas, that has turned that picture for me from shit to wow. I think that's cool. There's a yellow dress. I don't know why that's an exhibit here, but there you go. Yellow dress. Now, bit crazy all right the uh, pictures but I love the colour because my favourite colour is blue and there's different shades of blue in those four paintings. That there I don't know what that's representing. Now look at this. even mother explain to me. I mean look look at the size of the room with just four paintings on that wall there. Whatever that is over here on that wall and this two shoes going round in a circle. Just a bit two inches off, off the floor. 
Mad stuff, mad stuff. So you've got brains here, or skulls of people. Skulls of people there with writing on them. They look like cocktail sticks, whatever that is. And have no idea what it represents. That's giving me the wow factor just by the colour. Right, so what did you make of that, my friends? That exhibition there I showed you inside in it. Um, that's what I'm saying. These uh, museums of modern art all over the world, you either like them or you hate them, you know? There is, you'll see stuff in there and you'll say, my God, they have a hard neck. Uh, trying to pass that as art, you know what I mean? So I'm outside now and I don't know what this is supposed to represent. There's a big lump of timber over here so this exhibition here if you want to call it is made or art is made out of um irish oak irish oak and cotton steel and it's 12 meters high which would be what 36 to 40 feet wouldn't it you know that a high percentage of people who visit museums of modern art all over the world think that it's not art and think that they're basically taking the piss, you know. Um, about 75% of what I seen in there I thought was horse manure, I didn't like it at all. Um, and it's very, very easy to criticise and very, very easy to dismiss things, isn't it? Um, and there are descriptions there, right? Um, on each exhibit, explaining each exhibit here, right? So even even with them explaining the exhibit to you, well, I'm going by me now, this is just my opinion. I explaining the exhibit to me, um, it might give you a different perspective on what you're looking at, but at the end of the day, it's up to you, each individual, uh, to express like what they're seeing, do you know what I mean? Uh, visually what they're seeing, right? And to me, even though I respect those I won't say what artist it was because that's, that's unfair, right? But you can tell there was countless hours of hard work and effort went into it, right? It really did. You can you know that, right? But to me, I'm looking at it and I'm saying it's shit, okay? And I'm entitled to say that, do you know what I mean? I'm entitled to think that way. And they're entitled to say, oh, well, you're ignorant. Uh, you know nothing about art. They're entitled to that too. But at the end of the day, you can't make someone like something. You either like something or you don't. So anyway, that was the indoor exhibit. So I'm going to go around the back now and have a look at uh, some outdoor exhibits here in the Irish Museum of Modern Art, okay? And this here is called, I think it's called, yeah, the back, back of snowman, right? The back of the snowman, right now. Can you decipher or tell me where is the back of the snowman? Is it that side, this side, or is there a side in a round ball like this, right? So, I can't call it shite. I can't go wow, and I can't even say satisfactory, but like, I mean, the audacity of actually calling it back of snowman okay uh, is it do not on purpose to make a walk around it and try and see where the back of the snowman is and where the front of the snowman is because you can't you can't know what's the front and what's the back you know what i mean or what's the sides because of the way it's built maybe that's the whole purpose of it anyway let's go over here <coughs> right all different shapes black and white different shapes and um, whatever this is personally I think that's shit 
complete shit. That's a, that's a whole, to me, to me, that's something this morning, in my opinion now, to me, that's a whole waste of space there. You could have some fantastic, just, just some fantastic mur murals you'll see uh, uh, as you walk through Dublin City that people do, and you just, you'll just stop to look at. Now, I'm looking at this and I see all different shapes in black and white. Circles, look, things that look like um, zebras or a uh, chessboard or something, right? Or not a chessboard, a draughts board, like, you know? And I'm thinking, shit, it's complete shit. That's, that's what I'm thinking. Remember, that's only my opinion, my friends. Now let's go over here and read this. Okay? You are deities of the good times, spirits of the marginalized, lovers of the exquisite bodies of the living and the dead. You are the shape of a revolutionary solar system, floating among sensual warm skinned megastructures of abundant biology, the language of hot, fantastical humans radiating in expanding dynamic zones of your own making, new sensations, feeling the beat, 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 sweat on your tongue, procreating, scintillating interference patterns as memory is irrelevant, all perspectives are refracted in a hyperdrive of togetherness, joy, play and disorientation are your social goals. Your exchange of heat is a gift that hails a new economy of beauty. Queen animals of allegory pucker up you, a red, green, blue all over your bustle explodes with rampant lipstick futuristic face in over inflated fruit throwing fecund swollen shapes in atomic attraction reigns the expiration of shame and hubris flouncing extreme fabric stuck in a centrifuge well holy shit <laughs> do you think that's profound or do you think it's a load of shit i don't know let's call it profound but anyway could just imagine whoever whoever wrote that uh, obviously had to had to come from their imagination okay I don't know whether it was one person or many people but um could you just imagine um living living in uh, digs with whoever wrote that and at breakfast time asking them to describe their breakfast you'd end up telling telling them to shut up wouldn't you because they go on and go on and go on here here's more over here look at this with crystal cucumber limbs the dolls you brought to play with have come to life ogling feral hungry erotic astronauts in dazzle ships strobe back and in unexpected transparency illuminating gloss black flashing tea kiss a smooth coating of glitter and sequence kiss me color all over the total great uh, leveling of all creatures, the hair on your back, lovingly stroked, iridescent, vertigneous inflations are the silhouette of the season. You are more exquisite balloon sculpture than human. You are a parade of the sculptural colour that time leaves in its wake. You are the generators of love repeat to never fade. No colour the wrong colour, no vision impossible, no state fixed, no history inevitable, no destiny uh, assumed, no one is less. Now, did you understand any of that, my friends? Or is it just a pile of shit? That's the question, you see. That is the question. Or am I not too intellectual enough to understand that? I say, yes, I bloody well am intellectual enough to understand that shit. Anyway, let's go down here. Now, this is what you call art. That's art. This, this, um, what do you call it? Steps leading down into the garden is art. The garden here is art. Actually, that's that's wow art. That's beautiful art. But some of the stuff you see in these um, museums of modern art are... They really are shit now, I have to say. And they'll try to convince you otherwise. They'll 
come into uh, bullshit, and I mean bullshit talk, right? Bullshit talk. They start using words like symmetry and asymmetrical and just pure bullshit. And you're looking at them and you're going, but it's shit. And they'll, they will take offence if you call it shit, you know what I mean? But a lot of it is shit. Um, just because I'm going to show you one more thing down here. You see, you see, look at that now. That's that was built way back before this was turned into the Irish Museum of Modern Art, right? And that, as I said, like that's that's construction made by. Uh, first of all, it's made in your imagination, or you know, architects or whatever have to construct it in their minds first, don't they? And then you have to go and put it into. Then then you get the, uh, you know. The professional people to come and build it and when you look at that i call that art i call constructing this garden art beautiful art actually i really do but anyway there's one more thing down here i want to show you and actually it's just it's just like um shapes with colors on them but from here to me it's giving me the wow factor okay so whoever uh, made this um, art I like it you might think it's shit but I like it yeah that's cool I love that love it and that's nice there I like that So, um, this was once, um, it was called the Royal Hospital Kilmainham. It was a hospital. Um, and it's now the Irish Museum of Modern Art. But, um, as I said to you, I like going into, the, into museums of modern art because, uh, I'll tell you why. Because, well, for me, they... You know, you're going to see stuff, you're going to see a lot of stuff there, and you are going to say, you're taking the piss, you're taking the piss, how can you call that art? It's shit, right? And then, from another perspective, I'd be looking, not only here, not only here in Dublin, but all over the world where they have these museums of modern art, right? You have, like, it's a pity I didn't bring the GoPro up here two weeks ago because when I came up here two weeks ago there was a different exhibition on and there was two rooms that were about 15 foot square okay and I went into one room and the art exhibition in the room was rocks you know like rocks small rocks in the center of the room displayed in a circle say the diameter would have been about I don't know maybe eight feet in diameter and just I didn't see anything spectacular about it right and here's this room and I won't even mention the name of the artist because I don't regard him as an artist I regard him as a chancer right and he has this exhibition in the room of rocks in a circle and yet outside this building Every night of the week in Dublin, there is homeless people who would love a room to shelter. And they have a room, 15 foot by 15, in here, with an exhibition of rocks in a circle. I thought that was bad, and then I went into the room beside it. So I went into the room beside it, and I, first of all I thought, there's nothing in this room, there's no exhibition in this room, right? So, the window wall... I looked down below the window and there was like, um, it looked like, do you know if you were a tiler, if you were tiling your bathroom or you were tiling your kitchen and you had leftover tiles of different sizes, uh, off cuts of tiles. Well anyway, that was the exhibition, right? 
it w actually wasn't tiles, it was something like tiles, and they were left down under the window, you know what I mean, again the wall beside the floor, um, one say rectangular, one smaller rectangular square shape, a couple, to look to, look to me look like tiles, and that was the exhibition, and that was a woman, and again, for me, I was saying, holy shit, holy shit, you have a hard neck, how did you convince anybody to allow you to display that? And then he was saying, what kind of people are the people um, in charge of the museums of modern art, that they allowed that? But then that's what they call it, they call it museums of modern art, so... Um, now, having said all that, and having said that I thought those two rooms were a waste of space and there's people um, homeless in Dublin here, right? Do I think a, a, a mod museums of modern art should be closed down? Absolutely not. Why? Because I don't think you should um, suppress um, creativity and imagination, okay? Because without... Uh, creativity and imagination we would probably still be in the stone age um, everything you see all around you like from me with this GoPro here to um, your smartphone to um, the men going to the moon putting um, spacecraft unmanned spacecraft on Mars and going to the edge of the universe and everything all came from creativity and imagination so I wouldn't close them down, but they, but they are a love-hate, for me anyway. Museums of modern art are a love-hate um, thing, because I just see black and white. I like it, I don't like it. I don't want the artists to come and tell me why I should like it. You know what I mean? I don't want to come along and give me a load of shit about the reason why I should like that. I say, no, just go away from me, go away from me. I'll decide if I like, if I like the art. Does that make sense to anybody? Anyway, okay, so... That's it, my friends, from the Irish Museum of Modern Art um, out here in, in Kilmainham. Uh, <clears throat> and if you want to visit, it's free. And um, it's out near Houston Station. So if you're in Dublin and you're into museums, and especially art, um, take a trip out here to the Irish Museum of Modern Art. Take care, people. See us all again in the next video. I don't know where it's going to be. I might, I might do another one here now around Dublin, but I've no, I don't know where I'm going to go yet. So, yeah, take care, people. Have a good day, wherever you are. Bye. Thank you.